Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 16 of now Hand of Fate. Let us see how you fare against the Queen. Yes, we're going to. Last episode we we managed somehow to kill the King of Skulls when we had two health and basic weapons. Uh, today we're fighting the Queen of Scales, the third to last boss from what I can understand. Uh, let's check this out. The difficulty of, of picking up six... Alright. So we get a curse called Curse Luck. The difficulty of picking a successful chance card is increased. The great so, dragon queens of the lizard people are the fiercest uh, Would you like generals. to use recommended deck? Yes. B. So obviously when we have those multiple choicings where you there's chances of failures and stuff, there's going to be more failures. Curse Luck, Lost in Swamp. Lose 50% food. That's a horrible card. Alright. What are, you, what are we playing for? Are we playing for the book? I don't think that book was there last time, the one with the skull on it. That must be what we're playing for. Because normally, on that little podium there, to his right, he puts the prize, but there's no prize. Alright. Interesting. These steps you take, none have taken before. Do you appreciate what I have built? Receive one Do food for every lizard killed. The elegance of the systems I have forged. I don't know why I got that. Local peasant. Uh. I don't need any food because I don't need to give her any food because it is a straight line. So it's not like I have multiple choices and need to see information. All right, who are we fighting? We're fighting one golem. Oh, it moves faster. And I... Oh, I got the failure. Beautiful. What happens? Creature notices your approach. One of them manages to get behind you and get in the first strike. What do I lose? 10 health per curse. Oh, well, lucky I only had one curse and it wasn't max health. Alright, that's cool. This is... This should be... Easy. Nope. None of that. Didn't realize there was a trap in there. Alright. Oh, there's a trap in the one to the... To the left as well. Alright, we can do this. Stun! Uh, uh, uh. Yeah! We don't have the honor of the thunder, unfortunately. The thunder would have made this so much easier. Alright. Come at me, come at me, come at me! Oh, I got hit. Dang it. Alright, we need to get away from there. That was just a bad idea heading back there. We'll fight him on the bridge. Actually, this looks like a good view. Like, top down, I can see more. Alright, we're cool. Oh, we got him. Beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a lizard, so we don't gain any gold. But, maybe we'll finally get to kill three lava golems. The best thing would be if all three of these are just three consecutive lava golems. What do we got now? Ah, oh, the treasure chest. Alright. Approach the treasure chest. Three failure, one success. Choose from these options. Oh my god, we did it! So lucky. You approach the treasure chest. We're gonna try to open it. Three success, one failure. Try and keep an eye on the failure. Beautiful. That's much better. Alright, what do we get? 30 gold. 10 gold. 30 gold. 70 gold for... Oh! 85 gold for that chest. That's beautiful. That. Plus some more food. Without a clue. Oh, new this card. This is a chance to learn how valuable your equipment can be in the right circumstances. You become lost in a swamp. In all directions, you see nothing but murky water, twisted trees, and mist. The smell is appalling. You hear muffled movement and can just make out a humanoid figure in the mist, beckoning to you. We're going to approach it. You splash through the murky water towards the shape. As you draw near, you realize that it's just a tree. A torn old banner is stuck to one branch, waving in the cold wind. Uh, the banky, misty forest that surrounds you is really quiet as you str struggle through the fit fetid waters. Tend to find a way out of the swamp. Okay. Not good. This one. Okay, lucky. 
find your way out of the swamp after only a day of wandering. Alright, cool. Travelling jeweller, and I have 85 gold, so there is no reason not to enter this store. Alright. Here's hoping he's got something really rad. We'll check out what our what our starting equipment was as well. Like, what would, what did we get? We still got an axe and a shield and a medium armor, but we also have the merchant's ring. All shops are revealed. Oh, that's why we got to see it. All right, arrow cutter, war cry, occult ring, or the healer's ring. Whenever the player receives healing, they also gain plus one gold. No benefit if they were already fully healed. Player inflicts three more damage for every curse he has. That's a cool combo. Um. I don't think we want any of that. We're just going to buy three food. Alright. We'll leave the shop. Have a sip of liquid. And move on. Cave escape. Caves and caverns. One cannot hope to find adventure without a little delving now. A dank and foreboding cave lies between you and your goal. Enter the cave. Alright, what do we got? Alright, another a traveling healer. I have sat where you sit now. The game though, the game is very different. I doubt even I would have reached this point. We're gonna give the priest half our food. We're gonna do it. See that? That skill. He speaks in the language of the old religion for several minutes and then gently touches your forehead. It is done. Draw two blessing cards. Triple Very damage, nice. stunned foes. Treasure picker. When the player chooses from multiple equipment and game cards, the choices available are increased by one. That's cool. And then we'll head back to the traveling healer and we'll fill up on more food. It only makes sense. We got the two blessings at the cost of a bunch of food and then we replenish our food so we can make it uh, heal wounds, remove curses. What are our curses again? Uh, how do we how do we see them? Armor, blessings, and curses. Cursed luck. That was the difficulty is increased, which wasn't a bad curse actually. So we're not going to remove it. Like it is a bad curse, but it's not a horrible curse. Uh, three food costs eleven. 11, 15, 19, it becomes one, one dollar cheaper to buy five food this way. Let's see, times five is 55, times three is 33. Yeah, all right, so that's kind of lame. Theoretically, we should only need 20 gold though, uh, 20 food, so we're going to leave the shop and then head up. All right. Stop looking so down the dumps, mate. Ambush. Who are we fighting? Three mages. Six mages. Jesus, I haven't seen these guys for quite a while. Would have been nicer if it was lava golems. All right. Nope. Nope. You piece of butt. All right. That's one dead. Can I, can I block? I can block it, can't I? Alright. We got gotcha. you. We got gotcha. you. Oh, I didn't, didn't have time to block it. I was too busy attacking. Alright. We're good. This shit... Mages are a pain. But not at like they're not the worst thing in the world. All right, is he dead? He's dead. All right, cool. I wasn't able to block it. Are you serious? Are you serious, bro? All right, you've done your little thing. We wait for it to end. Oh no, it didn't end. Well, that's cool. We actually only lost twenty health from this this encounter so it could have been so much worse and I'm really happy all right all 
Uh, sneak up and kill them. Got one chance of failure, so this is going to shuffle quickly. Beautiful. So a quick weapon blow to the head finishes. You draw three game cards. One equipment. Ring of Justice. Use a weapon ability causes the player to be fully healed and for the ring to be destroyed. Cool. Three food. Beautiful. 15 health. So we only really lost five health in the end, which is awesome. All right. Yep, traveling healer. We know he's there. We're going to pass him by, though. Devil's Carnival. Shit. This is a bad one, because... With our cursed luck that I didn't bother trying to get rid of. Oh my god, we got a huge success. That is lucky. Uh, inside, you discover a number of spectacles. Alright. A choice. Select your design. Oh my god, my luck is not curse. Uh, you spot a beast, draw one blessing guard, will of the gods. Many of these blessings uh, are too good for the likes of you. If I pick the blessed one, it dies. That's cool. We actually caught through that unscathed, despite the luck. I'm happy. I'm I'm happy. All right. Holy Forge. And I I had the Metal Lord last game and I didn't ha oh. Can you say frustrating? I can. Hit your ride. Better than trudging along a muddy road. It is. All right. Where are the merchants? We got a traveling jeweler. What That's cool. He's right in the middle. I can pick up some more food. Ha. Battle at Brooktop. Who have I got to fight? Like skulls. Queen of Skulls. We're gonna go in. We're gonna do it. <laughs> Alright, battle for Brooktop. Here we go. We need to get rid of the summoning totem. Come on, we can do it. Is it dead? It's dead. Alright, cool. Then we... Alright, cool. Now uh, we need to dodge the bomb. Queen of Skulls is a turd. Alright, one down. They reanimate though as well, don't they? So... We're doing well, we're doing well. <laughs> shot, shot his own teammate. Uh, we should, they're not reanimating, I'm confused. Unless that was la no, no, it de definitely said skeletons reanimate. Good, we did it. All right. Goodbye, Queenie. Did we get a reward for this one? I can't remember. <laughs> After the battle, you search your bodies for loot. We do. We get to draw two, three, and pick one to keep. Okay. What's Scorching Zeal do? This weapon has a fire aura. Fire was never meant to be so controlled and so channeled. All right. We want to equip Scorching Zeal. Weapon ability, good. More damage, good. Holy good. I mean, we're not fighting the King of Skulls this time. But... Fire is still good. I mean, if we get a lizard weapon, that's way better. But, you know. Uh, yep. Ambush, Jackals, Embertown Hero is over there. Swing down, pick up some more food. <laughs> Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Freaking love this game. It's so good having a consistent, like, fret, like FPS for it now. All right, all right, that's sure that's all we need. For that. Yes, yes, I am. I'm not going to sell my axe, even though I probably could. All right, let's 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 go avenge this guy. Uh, refuse to deal with them. That is what it Are you serious? That's the thieving scum. The king of freaking dust, man. 
Jeez. Alright. Alright, light him up. I don't remember I don't remember a guy that summons rocks. So that's new to me. Uh, left bumper. This is fine. Guess what? You're on fire again. Whoa, that was weird. All right. Stun. Uh uh, dodge. Oh, I was too far away for it to register the attack. <laughs> Hit him with his own boulders. Yeah. Skill, bruh. Oh, he hit me. Way too easy. Why couldn't they have been this easy the first time I fought all of them? Jesus. Alright, what do I get? Come on. What do I get? What do I get? Come on, do your thing. I get... To draw three, inspect and put back. Um, okay. And ten health. Alright, so not worth it at all. The cave escape is just there. I don't want to be lost in the swamp, so we'll avoid that. Uh, pass it by. Here we go. The maiden would be nice, but we're going to avoid her. I mean, what does she give me? She gives me gold food or extended life. And, eh. Are you sure? Okay, here we go. Two shops north. Did you expect? Let's go straight down. Giant eagle. All right, I don't like the giant eagle. We're going to hide. When they begin to believe their own lies. This could be bad. Of course. I different. Yep, it was bad. My powers are genuine. What does he do? The massive bird swoops down and grasps you in his claws. Together you soar up into the sky. The great bird carries you over an ancient dusty looking maze in the desert. Huge creature stopping. Uh, we don't want to struggle to get free, do we? Yes, we do. We're going to do it. Alright. Oh, we got a success. So what happens? Uh, with piercing cry, the bird flings you into the empty air. Luckily, you land in a wagon full of hay, because my name is Altier. A merchant's Will you favor. Make the same choices as you did before. All right. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, we will. We get the heavy burden, but well, we can make it anywhere in five steps. So it's good. Attempt to wriggle away from bad luck. You're an attempt to. Why am I getting the medal or now? We've already been to the temple. That's so bad. All right. Dead King's Hall. Draw two monster cards. Jack of Butts. And, and the Jack of Scales. Our Jack of Scales. We're going to try and sneak away. I don't want to deal with the Jack of Scales. Jack of Scales, no problem. Oh my god, no. Lose five max health. Shit, and now i got to fight him. Alright. All right, we can do this though. We can do this. Light shit on fire over here. Luckily, skeletons are susceptible to holy, so we got that. Oh my god! F off, guys! Come on, bam! Alright, come on, come on. Okay, we're good, we're good. Alright, we can do this. Kill it. Come on! No! Freaking fireballs, man. I swear. Dead. Alright. Oh no, they reanimate! Ah, 
This is this is okay. You just need to dodge your abilities. Not worry about the rifleman. All right. Or maybe worry a little bit about him. Let's get him. All right. Got him. All right. That was cool. Difficult. Lost a lot of health. Whew. Freaking. The rewards in here better be good. Let's see what we get. Three gain cards. We gain five max health, which is good. We're back to normal there. More food. More food. I'd love some health, but let's just hop back forward. Oh no, the heavy burden. Guess who's clever? This guy. His name is James and he is so clever. First up and hand over the hundred. Thank you. Uh, you can have one piece of gear. 50% chance to crack ah, one free artifact. artifact. Good luck with it. War cry. Press right bump to perform a war cry. You'll be able to perform your most damaging attacks without building up a combo. I'm going to have to go with that. Noble trader, what are you going to do for me, mate? You've got a token. Greetings, mercenary. I'm a collector of rare weapons. Take... Would you like to part with it for gold? Mmm. Yes. Card tokens now mine. I get five gold gain cards. All right. I'm sure you are grateful for that. I'm I'm going on a gamble here that the shops up above will help us. Maybe we'll be able to find a cool weapon if I can find something that kills lizards. I'll be so happy. All right, come on, shop. What do you got for me? Buy items. Berserker armor. During combat, every hit you sustain increases your speed and weapon strength. Huge hammer. Skeleton king sword. High tier attacks heal the wielder. The wielder, sorry. Press left bumper to drain health from surrounding enemies. Um, as you string together consecutive attacks, you do greatly increase damage. 35 versus 30. Mm. I want to. I want the sword because of the drain health ability, but the explosion sounds good too. Um, 50 versus 55. I've got 125. I can get two items. Uh, we're going to grab. We're gonna go with the Skeleton King Sword. The the healing Interesting choice. will help my survivability, hopefully. All right, we'll buy the Berserker armor because sure that's the right maybe the combination of getting hit will sell the ax and the medium armor. So I'm hoping that the combination of you get hit, Berserker armor becomes more powerful then you use the Skeleton King Sword to replenish your health. I'm hoping that that results in stronger abilities. We will find out. Alright. Now we'll head all the way out. This should be the last level. A voyage across the ocean, or merely a trip down the river. Alright. Shops to the right. She's out there now. So we'll go left. Waiting for you. Twisted Canyon. Who are you talking about? You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight next to a skeleton? Climb down and retrieve the weapon, because why not? Probably because of those failures, but... Yep. Alright, what happens? Uh, health pain cards. We lose 10 health. 15 health. Nasty. Yeah. Life slim. Press left bumper to inflict a curse. Uh, we're not equipping it. Stupid. All right, I gotta try and remember what things actually have choices in them and not do them. Lost in the swamp. Returns again. Move away in the opposite direction. Uh, attempt to find a way out of the swamp. Oh, freaking choices. All right. Damn it! Two monster cards. What do we end up with? Scales, skulls. All right. Not as bad as it could have been. Whew. Alright, first thing we'll do is we'll heal. So we run up. Oh, 
didn't heal as much as I'd hoped. Alright, we're cool. We can do this. Alright, you can't hit me from there. It, do it like barely heals you. Beyond worthless, I swear. Come on, just die. Alright, you're dead. We win! Alright. We almost lost all our health. This was not the optimal choice. I should have gone with, um, the huge hammer. It's too late now. Uh, dealer draws you one game card. Three more food. Don't need it, though. And now, oh, you have to attempt again. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? But find yourself... Oh, my God. You've got to keep going until... Oh, at least the failures change. Oh, Choose from these options. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dead to find a way out of the swamp. Oh, and then we go back to this one. Okay. We have to get good eventually. Holy crap. Two monster cards. Dust. Scales. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, let's get rid of these throwing bastards. Yeah, take that. You're down. You're so dead to me. Oh, with the shield. Bye bye, axe. Alright. We are not going to make it. We're having that much trouble with fights at the moment. And then... Alright. Dealer draws you one health pain card. Oh, wow. That deck. Lose 15 health. Attempt to find a way out of the swamp. Oh, finally. Alright. Jeez. Alright. Down up. We need to heal. And we're not healing as much as... I thought it was... Te it used to be 10 health that you'd heal. Alright, then we'll go this way. Mr. Lionel, good to see you, friend. Uh, we're gonna give you... 20 gold. Uh, brandishes the stuff and smacks you on the head. Uh, you shitlord give you gold you knock me back all right well he is hoping that that one space over there isn't oh, are you kidding more, you struggle to find your... all right we're gonna approach the figure attempt to find a way out of the swamp anyway all right at least we made it straight out of the swamp oh man we're losing all our food the altar Whimsy and caprice. God's the old religion, the a powerful. Yes, we are going to pray at the altar. Were Only one chance of huge, huge failure. Age corrupted their natures. All right, almost selected the huge failure. What do we get? Uh, any kill made God using an axe grants the player three health. All right, cool. I'm gonna go this way. Maze of traps. I like. I do like. If this is. This is the one where we just got to dodge a heap of traps and get to the treasure, yeah? Yes, it is. Love it. Alright. Don't want to go on there. Alright. Dodged. 
There's obviously a trap in that bush. Alright, we're doing well. Oh, that was a close one. We're, doing, we're actually making it. This is cool. I haven't taken any da damage. That was... Oh, you son of beach. Alright, unfortunately, I'm taking a long way around this one. Oh, nope. Alright. We made it. We made it. We didn't take that much damage. Hopefully, there's food in this. Otherwise, I have to go to the tinker and buy one more food. Alright. One equipment to keep. Frostfang hurts lizards, doesn't it? Can't remember if ice hurts them. We're not going to take that chance. What's the armor of cold do? Nearby enemies are immediately slowed as the chilling effects of this armor take hold. This armor pulls energy from the world around you. A new shield. Every third shield encounter does not consume marathon. food. Not Press B to st uh, stun. During combat strikes, sustained from bows and wands have a chance to reset your cooldowns. I think the armor of cold is our best bet here. Careful with that. We are going to equip it. does not extend inside the armor, but you do have to get it on somehow. Every strike, ooh, equipment with this trait crackles with the thunder of the gods. Even mages tremble at its sight, fearing a power beyond their ken. Press left bumper for a lightning strike around you. We're going to use it. We're going to use it. Health, the health drain was not effective at all. After opening the chest, the trap lies dormant. Alright, we have to hurt ourselves a little. Buy some food from the traveling tinkerer. Uh, we need at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, we need a lot of food. Now, I bet you... Finally. An opportunity to eat. Yeah, I know, right? The king is like the queen of scales will be in like the very last one that I go to. Alright. So we don't need the skeleton sword anymore. Or the berserker armor. We already own We're using Thunder Strike, so I don't think we need Life Slim. And that's cool. Alright, now we've got 57 gold with which to buy food. One, two, three, four. That's more than enough food. In fact, I, that even gives us the ability to sort of hop back and forward if need be. We've got that room to breathe. All right. Which we're going to do it right now. Traveling Tinkerer, that's cool. But we're going to pass it by. All right. Heroes, no, we're not doing it. Oh, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can make it. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mmm. Mmm. Make an excuse. And that's that's purely because uh, if it happened to be in the top left-hand corner, I would not have enough food to go there and then fight the king. We're here. The majestic Queen of Scales spits Queen powerful power fireballs. And, grace. and her totem prevents the death of any of her children. It is said that if you destroy a queen's totem, its spell will be broken and any surrounding lizards will be damaged. It is not known whether anyone has successfully achieved this. Alright. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Sounds good. Alright, so we need to destroy totem. Destroy kids. We can lightning everything. Alright. Let's let her get summoned. I like the animations. Oh, look at her. You told him shit. Alright. Alright, everyone, you should just come over here, eh? Come over here. Away from the totem. Alright. Totem down. Good. Alright. So we can LB again. Oh. Shit. 
shit. All right, not good. No! Ten health left. Oh, motherfucker. Not sure how that happened. Oh, it must have been her fire. The start of her fire was what killed me. Uh, we could have done that as well, but I felt like we had the ability. Dead. <laughs> and with an artifact unused. Perhaps that might have saved you. Well, at least we got a token, Death but still, that was quite a frustrating defeat. For trading with the Gnome Woman, you received 25 gold and the lovers. Alright, well, that was my first attempt at the Queen of Scales. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Hand of Fate. Peace out.